Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Carolina. I'm just going to jump in straight into my tutorial. I've already started my eyebrows and my eyes off camera. Um, I did take a nap. So I did my eyes like earlier. It's like three o'clock right now and I took a nap. So I was like, <laughs> don't mind me. I am trying out a new pearl today. This is from Drug Elephant. I got this um, at Sephora. It was like a free sample. And this is the... Um, Petroni Power Peptide Resurface Serum. So I'm going to try this out first since it's a serum. Serums usually go first. They always go first. I'm going to put a little bit. comes out watery. Oops. I like serums because they just sink right in. I'm just putting... I just did like one little pump. Like one full pump. Drunk Elephant always has like this, this smell. I can't... I don't know... I can't put my, my finger on it. I just know their, um, you know that pink one, that big, the big one that they have. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's like nine times something. I have that one and it smells, it smells just like that. I haven't used it in forever. Yo, I haven't used any skincare at night for like, since the pandemic started. And this is my skin. Like, I, but the thing is, I've barely been wearing makeup. Like barely, I just, I've just been really enjoying like my skin. I'm just going in with my favorites. This is the Marc Jacobs Youth Quick. I really hope that TJ Maxx comes out with more because I'm running low. This little mini one, I got it for $5.99 at TJ Maxx. They usually run for $21. You see, I'm almost done with mine. I love this. It's like a gel moisturizer, which is what I need for my dry. For primer today, I'm going in with one of my favorites. This is the No Problem Primer. I got it for $4 at TJ Maxx. It's one of my favorites. They usually run for $18. I'm just going to do one pump show you guys how much i use i usually usually use just one pump today i am just doing my makeup for a dinner thanksgiving dinner i like this shirt i got it at ross it has like i don't know what this is but it bothers me so i have to wear a long sleeve and i prefer to wear a long sleeve with see-through stuff and then kind of like like the shirt that i'm wearing under has like this which i prefer <laughs> to cover up to cover up my my chest i cannot find my my corrector i have a corrector which is my favorite and it's currently sold out i i have it here i don't know where i put it i don't know if i put it like in my declutter pile or what but i can't find it and i have to buy a new one i wanted to try out this tool i got it off amazon i paid like five dollars because i was not gonna pay no 20. and i saw these starting to pop up at tj maxx but um, they're coming in kits and then the one that I found recent like yesterday it was like so thick so thick it was it was too much like this is like really thin I like it it's not heavy I do feel like the pressure I am putting pressure but I do feel I see the difference already like in person I feel like this is already lifted up watch this This is like a great hack for draining out your your ducts because it does get clogged up. Let me turn this on its side, or I'll turn it on this side. I am putting a lot of pressure because this is the kind of pressure that I put on for myself when I'm when I do it with my thumbs. I feel like it hurts more with my thumbs. Well, you know. It's about the same amount of like the same amount of pressure and then i like the curve right here because it goes right in like just the, the same way the way my thumb does you can feel it right in your like if you hug it right there that's your cheekbone right there. For foundation today, I'm going to be using Lancome. I'm going in with the Rene Vergier, Rene Vergier, I don't know, Lift Makeup. This is in the shade 330 Bisque Neutral. I did pick this up for $16.99 at TJ Maxx. This foundation usually runs, I'm going in with a Morphe brush. This is the M439 brush. I really like this foundation, I like the coverage, the, the color. Like the way it looks in person the last time i wore this foundation my dad gave me like a really nice compliment he was like he just took one look at me he's like your makeup looks really nice 
And then I was like, thanks. And then it made me laugh because he was like, cause sometimes, and I was like, oh, here it comes. He's like, sometimes it doesn't look good. And I'm like, puppy, like, cause I call my dad. I'm like, puppy, sometimes like, I'm, you know, trying out products for people online and I like have to use different things. And like, like there was this one video that looked, I looked so bad in it. And my dad was like, <laughs> and I was like, no, I have to like, I tried out a certain powder and I just left it like that. So people can actually see like, how it, you know, it didn't work out for me. I'm gonna blend out this concealer. I just used a tiny bit of the Rare Beauty Concealer. It's been a while since I've used it. I've been really favoring my my Cover FX concealers. I got these for $6 at TJ Maxx. Marshalls does have them as well. Um, I just went in with 250W today because I, I need to use my makeup. Otherwise it will like expire and then it's just sitting there. So I wanted to rotate it out and like, remind myself why I bought this in the first place. I actually do like this concealer, I like it a lot. I'm just using a Sephora brush. This is like a limited edition brush, it's really old. Um, but I like it, I like it to just blend out my my concealer. I like this brush more for concealer than I do eyeshadow. I'm not a big, to be honest with you guys, I don't do too much eyeshadow. I, I try to avoid wrinkles and I know that too much on your eyes will cause wrinkles. So I'm not trying to do all that. To set that concealer, I'm just going with a little bit of translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I love this powder. I did get it in a kit. You can, you never know what you'll find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Like I have found luxury items, drugstore. It's something that I truly enjoy. It's just, it's just like, I enjoy the egg hunt, you know, like the treasure hunt, the pearls. I love it. Okay. After I'm doing, the, like, after I do my Laura Mercier, I am going to go in with my cover effects. I do want to try this out. Keep playing with it, see how I feel about it. This is a foundation. I do like to go, I'm trying to open it. I do like to go in with foundations once in a while just to give it that airbrush. I do enjoy MAC more, but I wanted to try out cover effects, especially because that's what I found at the store. So from what I had saw previously, like that combo that I did, it was like a the the tree the third tree the three that I used was Laura Mercier I use this from Cover FX this is the pressed mineral foundation and I used um I usually go with like pinky undertones when I use like under the eyes so this is in P10 for shade reference and then I did get translucent light this is like a little mini one I got this for five ninety nine and this one I got for ten so you guys I'm I'm saving so much just by shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross and Burlington. And I don't really go to Burlington like that, but when I do need to, I usually like to hit like this one particular store. Um, it's like out the way, but it's like my favorite. Um, really quickly, I need to try out this powder again. I did, I did like the combo, the trio. Like, I feel like you have to layer it a certain way and I like layering it this way. If I layer this, oops, that is bright. If I layer this anywhere else, it will look odd. Like, so I need to, I don't know. It just, it does not, it's it's not flattering at all. This next pearl I wanted to try out. I did buy it for a client and I want to try it out myself. This is the Studio Fix from MAC. This is in the shade NC25. This is the powder plus foundation. So I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead. I'm not going in with any creams today just because I want to use this on its own. It used to have, I think, and I think it was like NC45 or NC40. I can't remember what shade I used to have. And then I sold it online like years ago. And I, I was just like, I don't need it. I don't, it was just like, I don't remember what shade it was. But when I found this shade, I was, I think it was at TJ Maxx. I was like, I have to pick it up because I needed it for a client. And then I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure depending on if I'm 10 or not, I can, I can get away with it. Or like if I'm a light, or if I use a light hand. So it looks like it's gonna look great on me. I did use this on a client under the eyes and it looked amazing. So I wanted to try this out on my, my forehead and just me, mainly use like powder foundations to see how my look comes out today. Going back in with that same Cover FX powder, I'm going in with a Morphe G8 brush. I like this brush for under the right here my face is still a little red from 
just trying to see how this would look right here. I do not have any powder on my face, like besides the what you guys saw me put on. My face is not red on this side, but it's definitely still red on this side. So I found Cheeky Devil a little while ago from MAC. This is a Power Play blush, brand new. It was going for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. I have seen this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm going in with this little, uh, this little brush. This is for powder. I'm gonna use it for blush. I like it for cream blushes. I'm just gonna swirl it in like this. And I'm just gonna pl place this on my cheeks. Not this one, because it's still red, so. I was told it doesn't give that much pigment. But <laughs> I believe they're right. All those who told me that they don't like it, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping that a little bit of color will pop up on my skin tone and it'll just be like a flush of color. If not, I'm gonna have to go in with something a little deeper. I feel like it's not too much. I feel like that peach one, that like that's peachy. This one doesn't really show up. I wasted my money on this one. Didn't I? I don't know. It feels amazing, but why doesn't like, it feels like nothing's coming out. Okay, now I know it came out because it's on my finger. Woo! Wow, that's a big chunk. Look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on. Okay, guys. That cheeky doesn't have that much pigment on my skin tone. But I like it. it. It's not, I feel like this would be like a great layer color, especially to like a powder if you want to. No, this is not gonna work for me. I'm trying to make it work. I'm trying to be so positive about it, but it, it's not gonna work. That's peachy is like my shade. I'm gonna try to put some on my nose. See if it'll even come up. It's not, it's not even coming up. It's barely coming up. It's very, very sheen on my skin tone. I've gotten the most complaints about this color and I agree, it doesn't show up like that. It's very, very faint. My cheek is still hot from like when I was messing with, with it. I'm gonna have to like wait for my cheek to calm down because it's like throwing it off. Like that right there, it's like throwing off. It, but I feel that it's hot right there. So I'm just gonna come back to it. I did do my brows and eyes off camera. I don't think I'm gonna do too much. I am gonna contour my nose. I'll do it on camera because I like doing it on camera and I like, I know it's very satisfying. It is satisfying. I like watching myself like when I'm editing the video, I like watching it. I, you know, I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's gonna, um, you know, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving and if you don't, um, my wishes, my best wishes are with you guys. And if you're at your tia's bored out of your mind, you can watch me. <laughs> I mean, it happens, you know? Sometimes you're at your tia's and you're just like, what do we do? And sometimes being on YouTube is like comforting. I don't, I don't know. Like I've been through that myself. Have you ever like looked in some, like I, I remember like watching like hundreds of videos of like people doing their makeup, different techniques. Um, and I'm mainly, well, I've mentioned this <laughs> a thousand billion times. I love brushes. So I'm always like, looking at other what other people like what their brushes they use to contour my nose i'm just using my favorite which is the sonia kashuk 106 brush i love this brush for cream and for powder messed up right here gotta fix this it's gonna bother me i like it it's stiff i like it i like it a lot it's precise and i'm just going with like my little one i actually found my big my 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 original like the 
the one I got for $10 at TJ Maxx. I need to pull it out. I am going to blend out my nose using a Real Technique brush. This one is clean, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. This is the Crep Crease Crep Brush. And I'm just going to use this right here. I like brushes like this. They just blend out so easily. Whatever is left over on the brush, I do like to add it right here. Just to make my lips look a little fuller. My lips are tiny. So I try to make them a little fuller with makeup. And then I'm just going to grab that brush. Like you see my, my lip, it looks more pouty. I like, I like that little detail. I always try not to forget it. This does not fit. Why doesn't it fit? I'm like already jam packing it. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this brush. Like this one with the kit that came with the kit. This is like for mascara. I, I don't know. I'm just going to put this one in here because I'm barely going to use it. But I like to keep all my brushes like together, like all my nose. And I like to use this one for like, this is a uh, Veramona, like from that kit that I got. I like to carve out my eyebrows with that one. I usually like to like, all well, my brushes are dirty, so I like to like rotate them out. Now for my lips today, I am in between. I, I think I'm going to go in with Pillow Talk. It's been a while since I've used Pillow Talk. Because I did pick up um, Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever. And I do like that shade. But I think I'm going to go for something a little, a little bit more pinky. Nude pink today. And that's such like a deep nude. Which I do love a nude. I love a nude over anything. And like a, like a natural lip. I'm just gonna line my lips. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And then I also have the little mini. I got this like in a duo set. So I'm just gonna use the, the lipstick that goes with it. I ended up getting, I haven't gotten them yet. I already got them like fitted, not fitted. Like I got like the scan done for Invisalign because this tube right here, it's hitting the back of this tube and it's starting to cause pain. So I'm like, before it gets out of control, I'm gonna nip it in the butt. Such a beautiful shade. So pretty. I'm, I am gonna add lip gloss on top. I'm gonna use the Wet Cherry lip gloss. It's already like, I got it. <laughs> I usually don't like to like get them dirty, but I'm like, eh, whatever. This is ultra juicy, so comforting. For highlight today, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Slim Light. This is in Champagne Pop. This is like a stick, like a highlighter stick. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my nose. Right here. Tiny bit on my nose and on the bridge. I do a little tiny bit on the bridge. I don't connect it, so I skip. Like I do a little dot, skip, bridge. I did use Cheeky Devil from MAC. This is the Power Play blush. Uh, I really, I feel like it's not showing up on my skin tone like that. I feel like it's very natural, which I could use this for like a daytime look, but I kind of want to deepen it up. I'm going to go in with Heat Index from MAC. Uh, this, is, this is the same Power Play foundation, <laughs> foundation blush. I used this on a bride couple months back and I loved it on her skin tone she is much darker than me I'm just gonna go in with a very light hand light I like this brush it doesn't pick up too much product let's see I'm just gonna okay I feel like this one is still red from earlier so I'm just gonna put it on this one so you guys can see it and I'm just kind of like sweeping it on because I like how this um, this blush is, it doesn't need too much, but I don't want to like go overboard. So I'm just going to put whatever I have. That's, that's much better. I feel like now it's showing up a little bit better. I feel like a little bit of my foundation was rubbing off like right here. I think it was, I don't know. It was just rubbing off. So I went in, just kind of like stamped right here and it took care of it. Now I am going in with my my 
blush. It does have a little bit of heat index left over on it. I'm just gonna even out my face because <laughs> it, it was missing like some right there. And then I did add a little bit of the extra brightening powder. This is the, the one from Cover FX. I did add a little bit under because it was just to even it out since it disappeared. I like how my look looks so far. I am gonna go finish with my highlighter. Didn't wanna forget about that. Now, this, since it's a cream, I did wanna like fix my base before going in with that. So I'm just gonna go in. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger because I feel like it, oh, just broke off. Like this had broke off. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here because I don't want it to like break off completely. Or can I? I have to go really softly. I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. And I like this one because it just like, you're able to draw on exactly where you need it. I do have to like put it over my Lunar because that's where my cheekbone is, but then I do like to go over it with a Q-tip and remove the makeup. I am gonna go in just with my finger because the heat of your finger will blend in the product really nicely into your skin. I like this highlight. It's not gonna be available anymore. So if you find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, definitely recommend it because if I can find another one, I'll pick it up for sure because I like I like the highlighter. It's a really nice shade, especially Champagne Pop. Champagne Pop is like so universal, I feel. I have this song stuck in my head where it goes like, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm just gonna use, um, for my brow today, I'm gonna use the Billion Dollar Brow Gel. I think I picked this up at the dollar store if I'm not mistaken. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Maybe not the dollar store. I think it was like Kohl's or something. I can't remember. Or TJ Maxx. Where I, I know I picked this up for a dollar. It was like super inexpensive. And it does it does okay. For I for brows from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, like brow gel, I still hands down it has to be my 2020 pick is the um milk makeup brow gel. That one's nice. I'm actually on the hunt for like a new brow gel because my um my products are like expired. Not not well this one I think it is. It's almost done. It's on its last leg. I like this one. The other one has like color in it. But I kind of just need something to hold my brows right now. 